There's a song called Marlins Will Soar by Scott Stapp, who is the god of butt rock. And Marlins Will Soar is the theme song for the Florida Marlins for the year 2010. Ever since I heard this song, I've been absolutely fascinated by it. Like, why does this exist? How did this get made? Why Scott Stapp? What's going on with this? I think that's my favorite kind of art where like, you know, you consume it and the first reaction is just like confusion. Like, what? What What are these feelings? And why does this exist? And who paid for this? I read in an interview with Scott Stapp that he was in a Florida airport one day and the owner of the Florida Marlins just happened to cross paths with it, with him. And the owner of the Florida Marlins was like, hey, you're Scott Stapp. And he was like, yeah. And the owner was like, oh, why don't you record the 2010 theme song for the Florida Marlins? And Scott Stapp was like, okay. I didn't even realize that professional sports teams had theme songs, let alone that like it's so important that it's always on the mind of the owner where like he'll be walking random places and see some marginally famous rock star and be like, oh, you'd be perfect because you're in front of me. So Scott Stamp says he agreed to make this song because the owner of the Marlins said that he can have free tickets for life to Marlins games and that his sons can be the bat boy at games sometimes. And he said it was a no-brainer to agree to this. I mean, most of the decisions Scott Stapp makes are no-brainers. So the way I like to picture it is Scott Stapp gets home from the airport that day and is like, well, now I gotta get the Marlins their song, but I'm not gonna write a new song. They're not paying me money. What can I do to get the Marlins their song without doing much work? So then I picture him kind of like, you know, racking his brain and then looking at his 2005 solo album, The Great Divide, because he wouldn't have to worry about dealing with any of the Creed members. This is his music. So he's looking on the the, the track listing and wondering, look, can he make any of these baseball songs? And then he sees it. You will soar. Soar? That's perfect. Birds soar through the air. I can just change some of the lyrics and this is perfect for the Marlins because Scott Stapp thinks that Marlins are a bird. So now I just got to change the verse to be about baseball. So now Scott Stapp's like, I don't know anything about baseball. What am I going to do? So then I, pay, I imagine he calls in a son of his for help because that's why he's doing this. So he can bring his sons to baseball games. Son, get in here. Yeah, dad? List me some baseball things. What do you mean? I'm making this song about baseball and I need you to tell me some things about baseball. You mean like the history of baseball? What, what are you looking for? No, no. Just tell me things that have to do with baseball so I can put them in this song. I don't know, dad. Uh, triple plays, stolen bases, mm -hmm. perfect mm -hmm. game, mm -hmm. uh, one strike, two strike. Uh, swing away. Stop right there, son. We got it. What What do you mean we got it? Grab your mitts, boys. We're going to the Marlin Stadium. Dad, it's February. So basically, Scott Stapp took an old song of his, didn't change the chorus at all, and then changed the verse to him just listing baseball things that his son told him. Do you think that they still honor Scott Stapp's free tickets for him and his boys? It's not even the same owner. It's a dozen years ago. Nobody liked the song when it came out. Lifetime tickets seem like a lot for this. Can you imagine you're, you just bought a baseball team and you're looking through the expenses and you're like, what is this 15 grand a, a year we're losing in tickets to Scott Stapp? You're 
telling me we give Scott Stapp free tickets to every game. Yep. And why is that? Because he wrote the theme song for the 2010 season. But it's 2022. Yep. So we must still use the song, right? Oh no, no, everyone hated it. What? It's a terrible song. The more I think about it, I think Scott Stapp is kind of a genius. He did little to no work to make this song that everyone hates and now gets free tickets. And do you think his sons are still the bad boys? Like, I imagine that they're like in their early 20s now. I would love to see them still <laughs> being the bad boys <laughs> at Florida Marlins game as like 23 year old kids. <laughs> I actually love this song. I love singing in that butt rock voice. So like I sing Marlins Will Soar all the time. And uh, I thought it would be a good idea to make a karaoke version of this song so I can sing this song whenever I want. I'm gonna make that available You can, uh, so you can sing it yourself. I, um, I'm also putting up a, a version of me rocking the shit out of Marlins Will Soar. Check that out too. Um, and let's all just give Scott Stamp the credit and praise he really deserves for just being a lyrical and musical genius. Hey, thanks for watching that video. I really appreciate it. If you really liked it, can you really like it? And maybe subscribe and ding that bell and do whatever it else it is you gotta do. And if you wanna, here's some more videos that you can watch. And then at the end of those videos is going to be this video. Because time's an endless circle or whatever.